Oh, ah, sorry for the interruption. Uh, and some other tasks to be performed. Anyway, back to this power supply. So yeah, so I bought a, a um, main band brand power supply. Some papers with it. Care too much about that. And the packaging unboxing. So, let's see if we have any difference if we plug the new power supply in. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, come on, don't shut off. That was unfair. See, now it's showing low battery on one of the controllers. That's interesting. It's not done that before. I don't know why the display in this switch goes off so fast. Okay, it on again. And we have this tap three times for some odd reason. Oh, interesting. It's showing one controller, but not the other one. So if I unclip that. Put it back on again. Just going to try a few tricks here because that's the way you should be able to. Okay, and I'm going to ask it to search for controllers. No, it should vibrate. No, this one, the red one. The red one seems a bit dodo. Battery depleted. So it says this one has a very low battery. Have they both disappeared now? Yeah, now they're both gone. Okay, so we have the... It might have been charging, but at a very low rate. Still think it's something to do with it not charging the controllers. So this unit here, when you've plugged in like this and you've set it up like this, it it should charge this. That's the way it should work. But anyway, I have a solution. We have here a handheld controller base where um, you can um, where it can actually charge the control the controllers while it's plugged in. Um, this is not um, a Nintendo branded equipment. And um, I mean, one shouldn't be negative about a brand, but um, I've had a bit of bad experiences with with that specific brand. It's <laughs> but you know, yeah, what can one do? But this this seemed to be a good solution for my problem at least. I mean they make a lot of, in our region or where we live, it is actually a, a product that you will find very easily. A cheap product. And, 
the can't really avoid. I mean, I'm not saying it's all bad. It's the some some of the stuff is not that good quality. Yeah, we can now do an unboxing of this. Uh, theoretically, the functionality of this is what we need. So we need a um, charging station that is not the um, actual Nintendo itself. And this is one solution that I can get for that object. So let's see, we have some instructions. Nobody ever reads those. And we actually have the unit. And it looks very similar to the one that you can buy with the um, when you get the switch itself. And then it comes with this cable, which is a standard USB cable. And it's not a USB 3.0 cable, so that means that one actually needs to use this cable and can't use it. Because the one that... Maybe show that. Nintendo comes with this, which is the uh, USB 3.0 standard connector. And, um, this here is um, yeah, standard micro USB. Okay. It's so long, it's 2.7 meters, they say this this here. 2.7 meters. So that's actually very good. So, let's see. Mm. Just going to uncall it enough to be able to test it. I want to take more cable than necessary, so if it goes over there, I can plug it into my USB hub. And you should be able to, like, charge and game at the same time. So please do. So, that's ready to go. And then we will, for those not familiar with the switch, you press this button to release, and you press it down and you pull up. And then you press down and you pull up. <laughs> so if you haven't done this before, you'll be looking at Looking is the, you know, like... You know, is, is that the button? Because that's the actual button, or you know, do you like pull it out, or what do you? Do? Okay, then we see here, and then um, this has a rail on it, so then you like, oops, not on. Put the right side, so that's so like the the right hand side, and then we slide it in and see if aha. Uh -huh. We're getting a red light, whatever that means. And then, um, I'll, I'll plug both of them in. And then of course they could be dead, so I don't know if I can pair it with the, with the main unit or not. Ah, it's actually showing up something at least. So here we have something waking up. Yes, now we have both. So here, now you see. Now I don't know why this main unit is not charging. Okay. Yep, and now the... Wait, can you just put it in the picture? I'm just going to move the up, down, so you can actually see that it's working. Does this other one? Yep. Or you can use this one to go up, down. And it works. So, I still haven't really solved the problem why why the main unit's not charging. But, um, I think this will solve the general problem of the control. And the controllers seem to be fine. And they're actually registered here and displayed. And I suppose if I charge them here, and then we have to put them back on the device and, and um, see if it works. 
Now this might take a while for this to be charged. So what I think I'll do is I will stop this. We can call this part two since I was interrupted um, before. And then I will... Um, I wish I was actually into video editing because then I could actually connect these parts together. I could maybe try and do that. Because now I think that we need to wait and see if this is going to... Uh, if the charging... when the charging is completed that can on take them from here and put them on the unit and then still have them working. And it might be that this unit will actually start charging charging the controllers. Um, it could have been that they were separate from the unit and they got completely... because my son has this holder. He has one of these holders, but it's not a charging holder, so he was he mainly uses it on this holder. And then of course it depleted the battery completely, so it might be that they were so dead that there was n it, it wasn't even possible for the main unit to recognize that they exist to charge them. Because I think it's trying to use some kind of wireless charging mechanism. That's at least the theory. Um, okay, but anyway, that's good. Seems to work, seems to work. So, this trust... Um, I don't think that plugging in the new power supply had any, any real effect on this situation. I think it was just that there was some remaining power in the power, power supply, you know, which got depleted. So I still think that we might have a charging issue with this unit. But for my son's purposes, this is actually more practical, this kind of setup, because then you can actually continue, you, uh, you can play, and then when the, if the battery uh, ends, then you can actually play, have the USB plug in for um, so the other one can continue using it until it's charged. I wonder how long one would have to wait for it to be a useful charge. Let's see. It's just showing that they're both charging, but there's no real indication of what low. Okay, now it's immediately warming that little battery. Uh, now, now, if it would just work for five seconds. Yeah, uh, you see, now you hear it. And then if we plug it in here, let's see, now it works. Okay, so as long as we can, um, it says low battery, and then I'm going to check if it's charging. Let's see, let's see what can go since the controller settings. It's not actually showing that it's charging. It's showing that the, the the blue one is charging, the one in the in here, but there's no indication that this one's being charged. It's just showing the level. And this unit here, this central unit should be able to charge or should can charge these. And I would expect the icon to indicate that, that it would actually be charging if it was charging. So I don't know. It's gone wrong. But anyway, it doesn't really matter for our use case because this will be just fine. So, what was I going to... Yeah, so now I've actually tested it like yippee. So we don't actually have to make another episode of the video. Because I think this is good enough to prove that it actually works. As we would like to have it. Of course, one should probably continue investigating why, why the unit itself stop charging the um, controllers by the for, for our purposes I don't think that's necessary well, anyway this is the workaround uh, I can recommend um, there was a product also um, that you can put a battery pack connected to this which runs on normal AA batteries um, but then um, then you couldn't can you couldn't put this on this anymore so it was a bulky thing that you put underneath. So then if you use a single hand control or you're multiplying, then it would work with that battery pack extension. But not if you, if you were a single player wanting to use both controllers in the game. Plus in this configuration, then it wouldn't work. But I think this is pretty perfect. Not that it's a main brand product, but um, 
Yeah. Well, I suppose one can trust that it'll be okay. Okay, so I will um, be um, uploading this video and the previous video, and I'll be calling it like part one, part two. Because I think this is important to get out there, because when I was searching the internet, uh, this, this here, like this solution, wasn't in one of the suggestions. Or actually, there wasn't really anything equivalent to what we're experiencing here. Um, but now I think it's, um, yeah, from, uh, from all practical purposes, it's fixed. So that's good. My son will be happy. Maybe we should invent an extra failure that's wrong. Like, uh, there is a um, intermittent memory corruption failure. And then we can actually, like, borrow this for a month to investigate the problems. <laughs> uh, well, I think my son will probably be a bit upset. No, I think I'm going to roll this up and um, package it back to my son. And he will be uh, happy to get up and running with it. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is not a gaming channel. I'm not really into, you know, uh, doing um, sort of console stuff or PC stuff for that matter, other than what's related to my the general tech rabbit channel. But I'd say um, I can ah I'm sad I can actually recommend this. Oh, wait wait no, yeah wait there. I mean it, don't don't take this um, don't take this problem Nintendo Switch problem as a, as a reason not to buy a Nintendo Switch. I'm actually um, very positively surprised with this unit and its capabilities. But it's not cheap. I mean the base unit and then you accessorize. It's expensive. <laughs> so I'm not saying that it's like, you know. But it's, it's actually... Uh, it's it's actually well built and it's a good configuration, but um, yeah. yeah. Also, I'm, and and you can connect this to with an HDMI when you have the docking station. You can connect this to by HDMI to a computer monitor and and you get full size gaming. So yeah, so no no, I say this is actually um yeah actually a very good thing. Well, as I said that. Uh, <laughs> bit expensive for the normal dad. But um yeah um, has to sometimes pay for the stuff. And 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 don't confuse this with a tablet. I mean the tablets um, and standard Android tablets they're most of them are garbage. Um, if one doesn't get up to the like four hundred dollar range then they're Sadly, I have thrown. I have. Per, I have gone through that. I've purchased lots of tablets, budget tablets, and and I've had to throw them all into the um, e garbage because um, they, due to software issues. Yeah, you know, yeah. The, basically, what happens is that there's no updates for them, or the they don't have enough memory to run the software. The software is, has evolved quite fast, on, uh, even on mobile platforms, and then they just don't have the memory or the... Actually, storage capacity was the biggest thing. Uh, flash, flash memory storage. And then this, they had this... Oh, this is rambling, but anyway. You couldn't store the games on the external SD card. Or you, you could, but not all of them, and the, suddenly the operating system, when it was updated, from the vendor then it became so big that it didn't even fit into I don't know it, it just horrible 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 you know, very negative experience from a consumer so I've actually ended up throwing three of them away that's really sad I must say I don't like producing e-garbage well I mean what can one do you know, one has to run the stuff one needs to run but anyway, I'm going to stop this uh, here, and okay, I think we solved the Nintendo Switch problem. I'm posting this out um, on the channel. Hopefully this will help somebody out there who's in desperate need of <laughs> some assistance. Well, okay, talk to everybody later.